Now, the basic principle of a plasma torch is to superheat gas, as we mentioned earlier. Now, the initial starting procedure of a plasma cutter, particularly a high definition plasma cutter, is to initiate a high frequency charge in the electrode. Now, the electrode is negative when compared to a piece of material, the steel or other metal that we're cutting. When the high frequency charge is enabled in the electrode, nothing happens at this stage. At the same time, a mixture of gas is injected through the outside, through the swell ring and into the cavity and out through the nozzle. Now this gas is a particular mixture and it can vary, but it usually comprises of gases such as oxygen, nitrogen, even compressed air. Because the gas is flowing over this highly charged electrode, it becomes ionized. What that does is it creates a conductive path between the electrode and the workpiece. This allows the arc to actually jump through the air like a bolt of lightning. Now, of course, the plasma cutter can read how much current's flowing, and it recognises that an arc has been transferred through to the job. Well, how does it react? The plasma cutter control unit will change the gas mixture, and at the very same time, it'll engage the cutting current. Now, this is much higher in power than the starting charge, it's much higher in current, but actually lower in voltage. This creates a large DC current that flows through the gap between the electrode and the workpiece. Now, because the gas is flowing through the same orifice as this high current charge, it actually melts. It becomes so hot that the gas is no longer a gas, but it's a plasma. And this plasma is, in fact, what does the cutting as it streams through the material. The swirl ring, as I drew earlier, creating a vortex, means that as the gas is coming down, it creates a very, very high speed vortex, and the gas swirls as it's being emitted. Now, this can do several things. But the main purpose is that it gives some control over the gas, so that it's not just simply spraying out, but it's confined into this column. Another reason that it's swelling is because gas flows much easier when it's in a vortex.